While exploring the Mount Morris Mystery House, YouTubers Spirit Walk Paranormal tried to unlock the mystery. As one of the crew is explaining about the strange happenings in the house, something strange occurs right in front of them. Second girl disappeared completely. The second girl disappeared completely. And then another one. While I'm talking to the guys, a strange anomaly appears in the top left corner of the frame and moves right in a strange manner. I don't think this is an insect because of the transparency and dust normally shows up in a spear-like shape but I cannot claim this as paranormal. I'd say that was probably dust, but some things are harder to explain, and more strange noises are heard. Can you touch this, please? The spirits apparently want to imprison them. Maybe so that they will have someone to talk to. What does this spirit want? It wants its presence to be known. Here. There you are. Are you on my back right now? Can you get off? Can you get off, please? But it also seems to be guiding them to something or to someone. Can you come into this room? Or maybe it's warning them. Are you trying to get our attention to the attic? Although some of these EVPs are a bit of a stretch, I think, others seem very distinct. I do think something is trying to communicate with the paranormal team in Mount Morris Mystery House, but who or for what reason is anyone's guess? The horror film The Descent follows women cavers into the depths of a cave system where they are stalked by an unknown creature. YouTube team Rob with Scooby and Scooby head to the cabin where they filmed some of the scenes and on his way there, something is watching him. I don't know if you can see this. Eyes looking at us in the woods. Possibly foxes. You get the glare. When he arrives at the cabin, it does look straight out of a horror movie. Coming into full view there. That is an actual horror movie cabin location from the film, the 2005 film, The Descent. But luckily, things aren't what they seem. Pulled it up. I think originally this was a hunting lodge. Um, obviously, the filmmakers found the location, found it was perfect. Or are they meant film locations of the mountain areas? What was that strange mist? Mint. Film locations of the mountain areas. Maybe this place is haunted after all. Well, I think that was probably condensation from Rob speaking on this cold night. I feel like this place is too spooky and must be haunted. Number six. A YouTuber named Talk to Trending records a ghost video in Tamil, India at a haunted fort. An extremely powerful spirit is said to reside here, and the ghost hunters can't resist the chance to explore the abandoned building for paranormal traces. <laughs> As they talk more about the haunted place, a ghostly apparition materializes behind them. It looks to be in the shape of a person wearing robes from head to toe, and when it moves out of sight, the ghost hunter looks over his shoulder where it would have been. I think this could be his paranormal sixth sense kicking in to keep him safe, but this could also simply be the way his flashlight plays against the stone wall behind him. Although it's weird that it takes such a human-like shape, tell me what explanation you think is true. This 
Ghost Has a Lot on His Mind, published in August of 2021 by Gankwa P. This scary short video has got me freaked out. The security footage shows an alley outside a gated home in what I believe is Thailand. Soon, a semi-transparent phantom shape appears. It can be seen against the darkness of the gate beyond. It moves past the gate and disappears. Is this ghost taking a nighttime stroll? Or do we need to call a medium? Does the spirit of a witch still call this witch's house home? YouTuber Max from Paranormal Point is here to investigate. A steady cam captures the wardrobe's entire collapse in the next room. It sounds like a dog is hiding somewhere in the room, along with something else. In another room, the candles are lit and a shadow figure drifts past. After performing a ritual, Max reaps his reward. The witch becomes angrier when he addresses her. Who are you? You can show a little later, this happens. Yeah, I would leave too. I think the witch is here, and she means business. This video is supposedly one of the seven classified videotapes that were taken from government archives and leaked. Of the seven tapes, only a few snippets have ever made it to the public, including this interesting portion. A strange grey alien appears to be manipulating some sort of task while in captivity. According to the description, this video could have been shot as early as 1942 and as late as 1969. The footage itself looks fairly convincing, though it could simply be CGI. However, the projector sound effect on the video seems fake, so my guess is this video isn't real after all. If this video is real, then exactly what the alien alien is intently focusing on, how it came to be captured, and how we are able to communicate with it, if at all, remains a mystery. This one you'll have to see to believe. Published in April of 2011, this bizarre and scary video appears to have captured a ghost floating into the sky. The short clip, which was filmed in a cemetery in Indonesia, shows a strange figure dressed in white walking across the cemetery at night. Nothing too unusual. Could just be someone in a hooded robe. Maybe a creepy ritual ceremony of some kind. The scary figure is hunched over as it makes its way slowly across the grounds. Then it comes to a pause and holds in place for a moment. But that moment is brief as it suddenly launches straight up into the sky and out of view. The footage looks completely authentic in my opinion. And I'm unsure if it's not real how this would have been produced. If this doesn't make you believe in ghosts. I don't know what will. While investigating the Anglefield Green Social Hall, YouTube team Southern Ghost Society captures some clear poltergeist activity. Listen closely for the EVP. I'm not sure what that sound was, but another camera manages to capture it from a different angle. This table just went. Holy no. 
It sounds to me like a door creaks and then something bangs loudly nearby. We can't see anything in the darkness, so I'd be curious to find out if anything was moved once the lights were turned back on. Regardless, this does seem to me to be paranormal. This scary paranormal investigation comes from an unknown uploader somewhere in Russia or Ukraine. Two brave ghost hunters pull up to a lone house rotting in the woods. A haunted place known for strange poltergeist activity. The inside looks fairly normal, but being here gives them an unshakable feeling of being watched. They're exploring room to room and soon don't see much activity until they get towards the back of the house. That's when things get weird. Okay, that's a lot of scary stuff to happen at once. I counted three creepy things, so let's go through them all. We all saw the ghost throwing objects to the ground, so that's one. You probably didn't see the shadow figure caught on camera seconds before it happened. That's two. A rising cry after the ghost throws an object to the ground is the third creepy thing. But... They are brave ghost hunters, so it's going to take more than that to make them scared enough to run back into the woods. More, but not much more. What else? From this bathroom? What the fish? A ghost slams the door shut on a room that I guess they are forbidden to enter. Who knows what scary stuff went on back there. Strange secrets that even someone's ghost doesn't want you to know. And maybe it's just me, but right as the door slams shut, I think I see a shadow figure materialize at 1 minute and 55 seconds. Tell me if you see what I mean. Whatever they saw or felt or heard was scary enough to make them jump back in their car and never Return. If you're going to poke fun at the afterlife, you'd better be willing to cross over yourself. Published in September of 2021, these paranormal investigators dive into the mystical Black Forest, a mysterious place in which the occult and other cryptic happenings occur. Here's what they found. The men immediately try to pester the spirits, preparing a ritual in which incense is burning upside down. Yeah. This, they say, is intended to insult the spirit, and this spirit apparently doesn't take to the insult kindly. As the group sits and waits, watching the incense burn, while a candle glows beside it, suddenly the plastic bottle the incense was placed in bursts. It flies off the altar, knocking the candle light out as well. The pair wonder if something flew into it, although it looks more like something burst out of it. What do you think happened here? Does this spirit have a really short fuse? A large rat finds itself trapped in what looks to be the corner of a kitchen. It appears to be at the mercy of the man recording, who to be fair seems to want to cause it no harm to begin with, but as Marcus Goodiron zooms out, you can see to your horror that this is not in a kitchen at all, nor is it on the floor. I guess a large rat climbing your wall isn't exactly the happiest of endings, but it is most definitely unexpected, not to mention a good reason to give the walls a good scrub down. After multiple nights of getting no sleep and experiencing a deep sense of dread, this person sets up multiple cameras to record exactly what happens to them at night. When they check out the cameras the next day, they find this strange encounter. A faint shadow appears to linger above them for a moment before fading away. It has an unnatural shape and almost seems to reach out at them. This video could be fake because this person was sleeping with their lights on, which is strange. But then again, maybe they were just trying to make sure there was plenty of light to catch the ghost on video. Some people have even suggested that this person was having an out-of-body experience during REM sleep. Can a person passing away stop the clocks? This video posted by Elmonk A. 7x to the ghosts subreddit calls that into question 
Monk explains in the comments that his partner was working the night shift at the hospital when a patient passed at 3.11 a.m. Porters arrived to transport the body around 45 minutes later. Not long after, a nurse was logging the passing in the computer when she observed a clock's hand spinning rapidly. The passing was logged into the computer at 4.10 a.m. and a minute later the clock stopped spinning at 4.11 a.m. exactly an hour after the man's passing. While Monk admits to ordinarily being a skeptic, his partner's reaction to what happened, as well as everyone else's in the ward, convinced him that this was no practical joke, this was real. All who paid witness to the odd timing were shaken up over it, being that the clock is analog and not digital. Monk suggests it's strange that the clock stopped on the exact right time of day after going berserk. He also believes that the whole thing was paranormal, being that the clock's actions coincided with the passing of the patient and the processes surrounding it. What do you think? Coincidence or not? The people of Reddit are on both sides of the fence. Either way, the timing couldn't have been creepier. Pakistani Ghost Hunter Woa Kaya Hoga bravely goes exploring a jinn's den to confront a paranormal presence that's been haunting his town for too long. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They can't get in this way, but there is another entrance heavily guarded by this nefarious jinn. It could be a real encounter, or they could be throwing rocks. The explorers investigate a different part of the wall where someone, maybe them, threw an object hard enough to take a piece out, and that's when. <laughs> Noises surround them, and this door is moving on its own out of their reach. Something is next to them. Why? <laughs> One of them grabs their leg while white eyes watch from the windows and when it comes to abandoned haunted houses where there are glowing eyes there's almost always a ghost. A mysterious figure flutters past the window, and in its place is only a single glowing eye, the eye of a jinn. A YouTuber named Victor Poulin suspects that something is wrong with this plane, and I need your help to come to a reasonable conclusion. The plane looks completely normal until approximately 1 minute and 50 seconds into the video when a bright red tint forms along the edges seen here. The change in color could be from the way the sun hits the aircraft, but that still doesn't explain how the plane seems to break up into multiple parts. Then again, maybe it's just his unsteady camera. Now see how it almost looks like it changed shape, there's lights all in different places. Victor Poulin is convinced that the plane is some kind of holograph, but I think it's pretty unlikely because I've never heard of anything like that before. Still, what do you think the real explanation is? Or do you think his assumption is correct? You're exploring a dark underground mine. Water dripping, echo, silence. And then you hear this. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Resurrect. The Redditor was on an adventure through the Dissido Mine in Arizona when he heard what he describes as footsteps on wood coming from deep within the tunnel. He says he and his crew were the only ones there at the time. Would you hightail it out of there or wait to see who or what was approaching? Well, most in the comments are already racing for the hills. Redditor JD250 offers a potential explanation. He writes, When I was a kid, I lived up 
in Tennessee right on an old mine used by the town for storing stuff in the early 1800s and I would hear sounds like these. Although JD says that he doesn't personally believe in ghosts, he admits to sensing the presence of pain and suffering in a place. On another note, the Redditor felt angry and hostile vibes in the place and insisted that it felt like something terrible had occurred in that mine and he didn't want to know what it was. He also notes that his stepfather felt he couldn't breathe at one point and not from overexertion. Do you think this could be explained naturally or is something haunting this mining tunnel? Wherever you stand, myself and most agree that this is one of the creepiest videos posted. Imagine something is chasing you through a maze, only you cannot see it. One of my favorite paranormal teams, Joe and Elliot of Ghost Theory, investigates this poltergeist labyrinth, a house full of sound and fury. Upon first entering, they start hearing noises. Well, it's from my right, so it's down that way. Of course it is. <laughs> and that just looks haunting. It does. Hello? You can hear some creaking, but is it just the house settling or is someone there? They think it's just the wind until this happens. They start to hear banging around, and then they hear voices. Is there someone in here? With a gun. You can clearly hear movement in the darkness. They are capturing some cinematics before leaving when some of the loudest activity occurs. There's some conflicting thoughts about this video in the comments. Some believe that all the noises you're hearing are poltergeist activity. Others think there were intruders on site. Either way, my fear is running hot on this one. Number 20. When YouTube personalities are filming, they often capture the unexpected in their footage, and sometimes they capture the paranormal. Marissa Rochelle published this video in August of 2016. Marissa explains that when she was filming a back to school video, when she left her camera rolling and left the room, she turned off some of the lights but left one light on and was gone for around two to three minutes. When she returned, the only thing slightly out of the ordinary was that Marissa noticed her camera had tilted downward. Still, this wasn't that unusual because the heavy camera often tilts on its tripod. She continued filming. It wasn't until Marissa watched back the footage that she saw this nightmarish hand. Her sister Shauna was editing the film when she called Marissa over to take a look at this creepiness she spotted on camera. When she gets up to go retrieve the prize, you can hear the door close as she leaves the room. And I did keep one light on just so that I would be able to find my way back in the dark. After two minutes of radio silence, you can see the camera slowly falling downward. As the shot falls below her bed, something to the left beneath her bed moves quickly out of the shot. Marissa says it looks like a child's hand. Shauna and Marissa search beneath the bed to see if there was anything there that might move like this, but they came up short. A child ghost, a doll come to life. What's beneath Marissa's bed? Whatever it may be, my guess is that it's very nefarious. This footage comes from India, where a woman is seen cleaning up at a sink. 
Suddenly, a dark figure appears behind her and gives her a hard shove from behind. She turns around only to find the room empty and hurries away. Pontiana was believed to be captured on an amateur video recording. On Indonesian National News in April of 2023, Redditor Tony Way 1992 shares the creepy catch. See if you can spot her. The creature is seen at the end of this parking garage. Well, some are screaming fake, this looks all too real to me. And to make matters creepier, the Redditor notes that the footage was being taken as people were rushing out of the mall due to a fire. Considering these circumstances, if this is not a Pontiana, I think it's definitely still a ghost. Number 12. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.